Welcome to the Federal Reserve Chairman Gate. We're asked, so you want to be in charge of monetary policy. Do you think you have what it takes to run our country's central bank? See if you can achieve full employment and low inflation as chair of the Fed. Let's take a look in detail about what this job is. So your job, the President of the United States has nominated you and the United States Senate has confirmed you to serve as chair of the Federal Reserve. Your job is to set monetary policy and achieve full employment and low price inflation. Your term will last four years or 16 quarters. You're going to set monetary policy by adjusting the federal funds rate, which is the, it'll, on the left side of your screen, you'll see a little thing that looks like the price is right wheel. Uh, so you're going to adjust this key short-term interest rate and keep the economy on track. You're going to raise the funds rate to tighten monetary policy, which will reduce inflation and increase unemployment. Or you can cut the funds rate to loosen monetary policy, which will boost inflation and lower unemployment. And then you click go to see what happens. So when we're watching, uh, watching what's going on, you need to try to keep employment as close to 5% as possible. And then with inflation, you need to try to keep it at 2%. But it's not going to be very easy because you are going to get a headline that is going to give you some information about the economy. And that will tell you if uh, what you need to do and what's going to happen to the markets. So let's go ahead and give this a try. So we are going to be the federal chairman. So let's start. Uh, as I, I've, I look right here at the beginning, and I usually try to position my screen somewhere about here so I can see what my rates are, I can see the headlines at the top, and I can see the wheel. So I'm already seeing a very gradual rise in inflation and a very slight drop in unemployment. Well, I know if I want the unemployment to go up and inflation to go down, I need to raise this rate. So I'm going to put it at 4.5%. Let's see what happens. So if you notice, it doesn't have a significant impact right away. And that's one of the challenges of this game. Your, what you do usually takes at least two quarters to start showing an impact. Now, if I wouldn't have done anything, these rates would probably be moving in a different direction. So you can see very, very gently, uh, I'm starting to push those rates back up. Actually, they're staying about the same. Now, this game gets interesting around quarter 12. Oh, no, here we go. Uh, yeah, quarter after quarter 13 and quarter 12. So I had a housing market crash. So what's going to happen is unemployment looks like it's spiking. Uh, the inflation rate er, is dropping. So this one actually is a pretty straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut the rate because I want more money to be in the economy. The lower the rate, the more money is out there. And I need to try to get more people jobs. So I need to try to push these things down. So the Fed is expected to lower rates. Well, the Fed does lower rates. Actually, it looks like we're in pretty tough shape. So I'm going to lower them again. So house prices bottom out, some consumers start to recover confidence. But if I don't do something a little bit more drastic here, this is going to run away from me very quickly. So I'm going to cut it again to 1%. Inflation's going the wrong way. Unemployment going the wrong way. I have to start. So I am in a contractionary spiral, which is no bueno. So I might even need... Uh, my inflation rate is in big, big, big trouble. I am like off the graph at this point. I'm going to try to lower that a little bit more. And there we go. I start seeing a little bit of a bounce back. So I am in a, I'm, so if it goes negative in real life, that's like really, really, really bad news. That is not what you want to see. Uh, so now, though, if you look at my unemployment rate, it's starting to go too far down. So what I need to do is I need to start reeling things back in. And it may honestly be too late. I, I think I'm going to be in trouble this time. I've only got six quarters left to try to get inflation back to where it needs to be and unemployment to start behaving again. So outlook is looking brighter. Now, I may. Oh, this is going to look pretty good. I think I'm going to have this pretty well and where where back where it needs to do in the last quarter of my term. So let's see what happens. I could even afford to 
tighten things up just a tiny bit. So let's tighten things up just a little bit more in the hope that, that unemployment number starts to go up. And we'll bump it up just a tiny bit more. This is going to be a close call if I keep my job. I think it's going to be a very close call if I keep my job. Help wanted signs are everywhere. Ooh, let's see if I can keep it. I, I don't think I left the economy in great shape. Let's see what happens. I was confirmed for another term, so that's good. And then what I want you to do uh, at the end of every game that you play is I want you to give me some of this information. I want you to tell me if you were confirmed. I want you to tell me what your unemployment rate was, what your inflation rate was, and what the disaster that you had to deal with would be. So after that, it's really simple. You just play again and make sure that you're filling out what you did for each time. Uh, I'm not really expecting everybody to like blow this thing out of the water, but, but I would like to see you give this a really good, a really good try. So I'm going to go ahead and let you get to it.